friends, here in this video, we are going to see the torsional equation which would be used in the chapter of torsion. Now this is the torsional equation. It is written as T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to G theta by L. Next, here I would be explaining the meaning of each terms because this would help us in solving the problems further. So let's get started. So T is the torque or it is also called as the twisting moment or torsion and the unit is Newton into mm. Next J. J is the polar moment of inertia for the shaft and J would change depending upon either it is a solid shaft or a hollow shaft and the unit is mm raised to 4. Next tau. It is the shear stress for shaft material which is given by Newton per mm square it is the unit of the shear stress then R the radius of shaft in terms of mm G is the modulus of rigidity also called as the shear modulus having unit Newton per mm square. This will also depend upon the material of the shaft. Theta is called as the angle of twist and the unit would be in terms of radians. Then at last L which is the length of shaft. And it will be in terms of mm. Next here I will just draw a diagram of a circular shaft which is a solid circular shaft. Now this is the cross section of the solid circular shaft and as I had written T is torque or twisting moment that twisting moment may be defined as the tangential force which is acting on the circumference of this shaft multiplied by the radius of the shaft from the center up to the topmost fiber the radius is capital R so the product of tangential force into the radius of the shaft is called as the torque or the twisting moment and when I take the moment of this FT about the center of the shaft that will result in a clockwise rotation or torque so that is the meaning of T then in the further videos I would be explaining what is called as polar moment of inertia for the shaft and how its value would be or its formula would be depending upon either it is a solid shaft or a hollow shaft. 